Happy St. Patrick's Day. This is Mulligan's of Manchester, probably the most famous Irish bar. And look at the queue. Look at everyone in green. Can I ask you a question about St. Paddy's Day? Hi. Name me your five favorite things about St. Patrick. He killed a snake. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna smile that. Good, Matt, that's a good answer. Have a good night. <laughs> As the peacemaker. Right to the new friends here. I look with some new friends. Look at that. Yeah, the go. next generation. These are the most well behaved uh, kids in Manchester. Yeah. There you go. So, Friday. It's Friday. What are you doing for Friday? It's, uh, Friday, we're going to do a shag and bag. A shag and bag. That <laughs> sounds fun. Punani. No, no Armani, no Punani. We need him? No, no. What? No, 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 no. no. Hey, hey. Hey, That's on, fighting on, talk, mate. On, I wouldn't on, say that. No, 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 I wouldn't please. say that. No, no, no. Hey, hey. Come on. Have a nice day, bro. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Listen, right, listen. To understand is to forgive. To forgive is to understand. You cannot have peace without love. Love is God. And God is peace. There's two viewers of mine in the fluorescent helping an old man up. My viewers are good people. Tram's gonna get angry, I can feel it. Tram's gonna go nuts. And this guy's not gonna be able to move over enough. Here we go. Ah, he's, he's, he's gonna escape. Escape the tramness. Okay, all welcome to the number one free bus. This is the reconnaissance vehicle on the front lines here in Manchester. It saves my feet, it saves my legs and allows me to circumnavigate the immediate center for free, which is my favorite price when riding these sort of things. Turn it, turn it. Okay, we're on Dean's Gate. The hipsters waiting for their lunch outside Federal. Always a queue, must be good. Or it's just the place to be seen. A uh, policeman standing center screen there, uh, behind the guy with the blue jacket, a little police car here. Um, we might get off and have a look. Squirt and go. Don't mind if I do. There she goes, the bus of my dreams. And the driver was a viewer. Flamethrower man. How are you, flamethrower man? You good? Oh yeah. Feel the power. So this, what's your name and what's happened? Joe. Joe, and could you show us the cuffs? And uh, thanks for, you know my channel, yeah? So thanks, man. And uh, But you're in some trouble here with the cops. This is, I know this gentleman. Okay. And, uh, 
Hi, man. You okay? Hello, hello. Hello, Joe. Joe is reading Lee Child, Gone Tomorrow. Take care, Joe. I hope it all works out for you, yeah? Take it easy, man. See you, man. Take care. I think they need to search him first before he can go in the van. Handcuff pin. So when I arrived, uh, the policeman and the uh, arrestee both said hello Charlie very surreal British situation but uh, it'll be alright it'll be okay it's a civilized country but never nice to see a viewer in a vulnerable position but uh, we have no idea what the situation is or what's happened but uh, all very peaceful And that is a wrap. So, at the bottom here of the concourse, at Pikachu, sorry, Piccadilly Station, you have the very quiet and civilized British, it says cut profits, not jobs. Don't cut profits. It's all about the pro If you cut the profits, it'll cut the jobs. Why are people having black and white thinking? You can't cut the profits. Profits equal jobs. Well, they're getting a bit more animated now. What's, what's, what's going on? Have they noticed me or something? What's going on? Let's see. They think I'm, a, I'm an evil guy. There's my mate Che Guevara. There he is. Hasta la victoria contra el imperialismo americano. Sorry? Are you with the picket? No, I'm an independent. How are you? Independent? Yeah, yeah. Good. where are you from? Uh, I'm half Brazilian, half Scottish. Oh, I mean, what? Oh, if you're independent, you know, I was sort of meant like what outlet. But oh, God, no, but by independent, I'm a real man. I don't belong to any outlet. Oh, okay. do, it, do it on my own. Interesting. Interesting. Are you, are you, are you with the picket? Are you supportive or are you against? Oh, I prefer to remain neutral, especially when I'm working, because otherwise it, it creates uh, an interference pattern in the matrix. I like to just, you know, be neutral. What about you? Are you? And do you mind if I film you because you're interacting with me? Uh, sure. It, yeah. yeah where are you, are, you, put it? are you with the... No, I'm just here to support. Oh, okay. Where are you going to put it? Why does that concern you where I'm going to put it? Why do you ask? Uh, I think it's a reasonable question. Like, um, you, well, look, is it going to be on like Facebook? Like, I'm fine either way. Facebook? That's for the boomers. Um, my thing is, is like, I'm always curious as to why people ask where it's going to go, what outlet am I from, because if I were in public trying to get a message across, I would welcome every single piece of media that filmed it or took photographs or interacted with it because surely they're here to be shown. Yeah, so for me, I, f I find it paranoid when, I'm not saying you're paranoid. Maybe, no. you're, you're, maybe you're on autopilot, you're, not, you're just talking. No, but yeah. it's, it's also just like, like it, you, everyone's so like surveilled by everyone and everything these days. Yeah. That, like, it's just like it's just like nice to know that you're not like like no matter whether you're doing right. something good whether you're all right but what if i told you if i was a right-wing streamer 
it would help to know. Like, but I'm not. But but this is the thing. But if I was even even if I was a neo-Nazi and I hated unionists. Yeah. It also changes like how you interact with someone because they feel like yeah. some sometimes like proper right-wing people will come up and be like, oh, good to see you, and then like suddenly change. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that, yeah. that's just why people ask. Is like, Fair enough. But it is paranoia, but there's spaces. Yeah. I guess because I'm 42. I come from when I was, you're in your 20s. I am, yeah. And when I was in my 20s, we didn't have this bipolar, you know, a sectarian almost, left and right. You were either cool or not cool. And nobody cared what your politics was because... So should I be coming be like, are you cool? I'm, I'm pretty cool, yeah. I've got a mustache. Of course I'm cool. What's your name, anyway? Phil. What's your Phil. Name? Charlie Veach. Charlie Veach. And now that we've shaken hands, Phil. Laura. And now that we've shaken hands, I'm a centrist. It's going to go on my YouTube channel, which is called Charlie Veach. Charlie I've got a quarter million subscribers. That's a lot of subscribers. Thank you very much. You should see the size of my shoes. Um, um, and uh, I, I, I was honest with you. I'm covering it neutrally. I, I have been critical of them in the past. But I've softened on the junior doctors. I've softened on the train strike. So I'm just here today just to get some, some interesting shots. But I mean, my, my knees are sore. Let me come down. Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you. I saw you speaking like Spanish as well. So you did like bilingual. Yeah, I speak Portuguese. I'm Portuguese, yeah, sorry. Portuguese. No, but it was Spanish I was speaking at the time. Because um, I interviewed the gentleman in the blue hat. And I say, he looks like Che Guevara. He's so. got a very good beard. He's got a fantastic beard. And are you, are you Scottish, by the way? No, I was born in America. Born in America? Where about in America? Uh, oh, East Coast, uh, Pennsylvania. Ah, oh, I've been to Pennsylvania. Oh, very nice, very nice. Is Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania? Pittsburgh is in Pennsylvania. Okay, and I've been there. Yeah. I'm from. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I'm no way! And uh, where, what the, wait, wait. And what city was is the big bell with the crack in it? What city? That's Philadelphia. I've been to Philadelphia as well. Is that in Pennsylvania? That's also in Pennsylvania. There, uh, I've been to Philadelphia too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Um, nice. Thank you oh, very much, cool. Phil. Good appreciate good it. Coverage. Appreciate it. Oh, there you go. A bar called Peaky Blinders on Peter Street. Peaky Blinders. Fair enough. Here's the roadies loading up all the uh, lights and uh, other concert equipment. They don't have pot bellies and long hair, so they're not real roadies. Yeah, they are. Oh, here we go. Here's some long hair, but no pot belly. He's a proper roadie. I'm holding the camera up as high as I can. St. Peter's Fields, the Peterloo Massacre on the 16th of August, 1819, a peaceful rally of 60,000 pro-democracy. Reformers, men, women, and children were attacked by an armed cavalry, resulting in 15 deaths and over 600 injuries. Very bad cavalry people. Do you ever get the feeling you're being watched quite closely, monitored, numbered, pigeonholed, referenced, tagged? Registered? Not for me. There's a lot of courts around Manchester. There's a lot of crime. But this one's more tribunals, employment law, civil shit. Good to see Escape Mordor. Sauron was not paying well. Hey, sir, how are you? Good stuff. Escape Mordor. Good man. Psychotherapists, when a blue haired girl walks in, they're uh, counting the shekels. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching! So, when I'm shooting my videos, sometimes I come to the Scapatici van. Hi, Barbara! Hello! So, opposite the Arndale Metro Bank, if you want a good, co good Italian coffee, Scapatici's where it's at. Thank you very much. It's good coffee. It's, it's Damn, I can taste the Dolomite Mountains. I can taste Rome. I can taste Emperor Nero. And I can taste coffee. Wholesome, super wholesome. Okay, as we stare up towards sunny, cracky gardens, I want you guys to think about your most touching experience. Maybe you think back to your childhood, maybe to your school days. Which teacher touched you the most? Hold on a second, that sounded awful. Don't think about that. It's not St. Paddy's Day until you see the Guinness top hats, and there you go. So this bad boy, the Tootle Buildings, here on Oxford Street. Oh, windy. 
This is where Andy Burnham's office is. We should go and have a look, shouldn't we? Beautiful. Nice building. Thank you. Manchester can be rather grand uh, when they don't demolish it and put it up uh, brutalist 1960s style um, commie blocks. Are you a fascist? Then you are doggy doo doo. Fascist out of working class areas. I hate to break it to my uh, dog on string, dreadlocked, uh, smelly uh, liberal friends, but uh, a lot of what they call fascists are just working class people with traditional values. Sorry. Don't mind me, Oxford Street, just admiring the uh, well framed giant cumulus nimbus cloud in the sky. Mm, I'd like to fly through that with an airliner to uh, get all the passengers nice and shaken. Maybe uh, a few screaming TikTok videos from within the uh, cabin? Is that what you call it? The passenger area? Anyway, look at that cloud. What a nice, best cloud of all. Nicest cloud I've seen for years. Now, I don't know the answer to the question, what is fascism and how can we fight it? But I do know that the Buddha defeated the forces of darkness through compassion alone. So uh, maybe beware of uh, people on either side of the political spectrum that are trying to get you to fight. Fight, fight, fight. Uh, uh, uh. TikTok, not allowed. YouTube takeover. Enough of this. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> so here at Hatch, clearly it's a live music on a Friday. He's got an accordion. Very nice. Sometimes, guys, just look up, look above the slums, and uh, in the sky, in the sun, it's quite nice. This here is a 2,000 year old fragment of the Gospel of St. John's from Egypt, and it's in Greek. Welcome to the inside of John Ryland's library. I'm going to show you one of the nicest carvings I've seen in a while. They just don't make stuff like they used to. God damn it, Murphy. You're looking good. Looking fantastic, Murphy. Oh. Have a great St. Patrick's. Are you actually you Irish? Too? Or? Uh, no, I'm, uh, no, I'm not. I'm just pretending to be. Is that okay? Uh, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, I'll just... Are you actually Irish or what? I'm not Irish, no. Where are you from? Half Scottish, half Brazilian. Long story. Mongrel. Mongrel. That's a very long story. Can you speak Portuguese? Eu falo português, sim. Você fala português? No, I don't know. You should. Spanish, but... Um, Same language, pretty much. Meu bela colégio nessa fuego. Exatamente, amigo. Exatamente. My grandma was smashed his own fire. Have a good one. That's amazing. You're looking very handsome. Thank you very much. Alright guys, is it donut time? Donut time? Donut time. There's a medic, good man. So it's uh, Saturday the 18th of March. Welcome to Manchester Piccadilly Station. As you can see, it's a, a, I would call it more of a reduced service rather than a strike. The train strike is on today. And uh, from what I could gather from the information, one in five trains is still running. So it's a very British cup of tea. You know, we don't want to screw you over kind of strike. And I don't know if they're still able to make their point with that. But uh, a little bit quieter. There's a few picketers on the concourse. We're going to have a look. But uh, from what I can see, they don't even mind me filming. Look, security just kind of wave, smile. There's a media guy to my right. A bit different during the last strike. They got a bit more stress then, but uh, it'll do. It's not Baz the Peacemaker again, is it? Hey, hey you okay? okay? Hey, the well-dressed, the well-dressed crew. Oh, look at that cameraman.
cameraman. Hey, hey. hey, I like it. Gimbal keeps it steady. Are you guys here for a church or something? Or God bless you all, man. Have a good one. Take it easy. You look good. Okay, guys, it's a crutchy Easter egg for you guys. Crutchy and I made the piece. There he is dancing in the black jacket. Center of the screen. Crutchy in the black opposite the umbrella. Enjoy. And it's the Syrian young beatboxer providing the beats. Ladies and gents, welcome back to the Royal, Royal Exchange Theatre. Exchange is in its former stock exchange from uh, Manchester's glory days of being a bit of a big deal in the British Empire. Another quietest moment in Manchester. Keep looking. Some fancy dress coming up, bit of fancy dress. Here they are. There you go. Oh, sorry, sorry, dude. Not allowed. No, 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 not allowed. No, 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 oh my God, oh my. Not allowed. Not allowed to talk. Not allowed. This city is such a mess. But it's good for the content, I have to admit. The bar is called Guilty. Like, like most, Guilty is charged, like most of the Manx when they come out of court, eh, mate? <laughs> oh, but are you guilty or innocent? I'm innocent. Innocent. Yeah, no, no, what do they say? No, they say, bank no, they say not guilty, don't they? Yeah, not guilty. Where are you from? Burnley. Bur oh, you're definitely guilty if you're from Burnley. <laughs> now, where's Peter Griffin when you need a large yellow chicken sorted out? This is Manchester. We do things differently here. Tony Wilson. In a city full of crackies, it's the glass merchants that laugh last. Been in Manchester for 11 years and I've never seen large birds, nothing bigger than a pigeon or a seagull, come and settle here in Piccadilly Gardens, cracky gardens, but today it's the two Canada geese, look at that. You alright guys? So check out these absolute units here, and this is your outro, I'll get you a shot of Manchester with goose, talk to me goose man, talk to me, talk to me. No honks. Thank you very much for watching. This is Charlie Veach coming to you from Central Manchester.